What's up guys, Ricky Kruth here. So today I wanna to cover my four rules of success. And this is for long-term and short-term success. This is for everything. And this is like a puzzle. You gotta have all four of these ingredients if you wanna see short and long-term success. And if there's anyone out there who is not successful or not as successful as they want to be, I can have a five to 10 minute conversation with you and I can tell you which of these four ingredients you're missing. Because if you're not successful, okay, it comes down to these four simple principles. Okay, so if I have this conversation with you, I can tell you which of these four that you're missing. Because at some point, somewhere, you're missing one of these four things. So let's get into it. And by the way, I post four videos every single week. I've got a vlog called The Daily Grind. I do educational videos. And every time I go do a speech in a different city, I normally post those as well. So be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell and reach out if there's anything in the world I can do for you. I answer all my DMs on Instagram, all my emails, and every comment under these videos. And if you're a real estate agent, I'm the very first completely free real estate coach and all my training can be found at zero to diamond.com so the very first rule to be successful is that you have to believe you have to 100 million percent believe and be completely all in and behind whatever it is that you're doing if there's even a piece of you if there's a point zero 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 one percent of you that doesn't believe that you can do what you're trying to do it won't work you have to believe in your heart all the way down to the core that this is gonna work, that you can achieve what you're trying to achieve, and this is gonna happen, and this will happen. I can tell you all kinds of stories of all kinds of incredible things that people did, and there was no way that they were supposed to do or achieve the things that they achieved. Everything was stacked against them, but their belief and how all in they were on whatever it was they were trying to do was the factor between them not achieving it and achieving it. Sometimes when I'm talking to people about why they're not succeeding or, or why they can't do this or why they can't do that, I can tell, I can look in their eyes and tell that there's a sense of disbelief that they don't really believe they can do it. Whatever the goal is seems unimaginable. They just can't quite visualize them accomplishing these goals. And that is a huge, huge problem. You gotta be a big dreamer. You gotta be able to visualize yourself crossing that finish line. Belief is very powerful, but it's only the first rule. Belief is very powerful, but it's only my first rule of success. My second rule is that you have to work hard. Okay, a lot of people believe. There's a lot of people that really believe and, and really dream big and have all these aspirations and think they can do all these things, okay? But out of the people who believe, who really deep down believe, very, very few of them also have the strongest work ethic that they need to actually accomplish those goals. I think work ethic comes from a lot of different places, okay? For me, it's being very competitive. Okay, my competitiveness of wanting to be the best and wanting to beat everyone makes me work harder. It makes me outwork everyone else. My competitiveness and my ability to focus and laser in on whatever my objective is creates the opportunity for me to work hard. It makes me, it forces me to put that work in to get where I wanna be. And when I get there, it's euphoria. Right? When, I, when I put a good day in, when I give it all I have, when I achieve what I'm trying to achieve, when I beat my competitors, it gives me a sense of joy. It gives me a sense of happiness. Okay, It's a drug and you can become very, very addictive and it's not a bad thing. There is a word called workaholic and it's called that for a reason because workaholics are addicted to the grind. You love the process and you love the results and that's why you love the process. That's why you're addicted to work. That's why you wanna give it everything you got because you're addicted to the results and the way that it makes you feel. You gotta believe, and behind the belief, you gotta put the work in. And then thirdly, you have to adapt. 
You have to adapt along the way. You cannot continue to do the same things over and over again expecting different results. It never works. Now, there's a gray area. There's a very fine line between that consistent hard work of the same thing over and over and over again to get where you want to be. That's true. For example, my weekly email that's went out every single Wednesday since 2007. That is something that I keep doing over and over and over again, and it works really well. But adapting is more more than just you know changing it up and figuring out what works and figuring out what wasn't works it's also uh, understanding when you hit gold when there's an activity that you know that if you continue doing it is going to take you to that that level of success that you're looking for and then you keep doing it okay adapting is not doing an activity that doesn't work and continue to do it over and over again telling yourself that if you keep doing it that things are going to change that you're going to you're going to start to get some momentum going no you always have to be trying new things and even though my weekly email has given me so much great success you don't stop trying new things. You continue trying new things, things that you can do to, to go to the next level. My idea of adapting is trying five or ten things, finding the, the best two or three that work, continue doing those, then replace the other seven with something else. Finding the best one or two of that seven and combining that with the other first two or three that really works. Now you have four or five things that really work. Replace the other five things, maybe even add seven or eight, but you're always figuring out what works. You keep the things that really work. You keep them going, okay, on the side while you're spending more time trying to figure out more things that work. And you just keep progressing, you keep adapting, you keep getting better, and you keep evolving. Your evolution through your life and through your business is what's gonna dictate your success. And if you're not adapting, if you're not looking, if you're not searching, if you're not curious, you're never gonna evolve. You have to be super curious of how other people succeed. You have to be super curious of how things work. Okay, And in this changing world where everything is always changing with social media and business and people's thoughts and political and things are always changing with the economy and the stock market and the real estate market and everything is always changing constantly, you have to be on your toes. You have to be trying new things. You have to be watching. You have to be learning. You have to be thirsty for knowledge. So out of the people that believe, which is a far majority of the population, very, very few also work hard. And out of the people that believe and work hard, even fewer also adapt. And out of the people that believe and the people that work hard and the people that also adapt, even fewer, and let's narrow the field down even further, also are patient. So we have believe, work hard, adapt, and be patient. Patience is the one that I really had a tough time with because I always believed, since I was a little kid, I believed that I was gonna do great things and that something was gonna happen somewhere in my life where I was gonna be able to help people on a super large level, okay? I always worked hard and I always knew that that was gonna be the, the part of the puzzle that really took me above the crowd. Okay, so in adapting, I was always super curious of how things worked, how people did certain things, and how I could also do those things. Okay, so I was always these top three rules of success. The part that I was missing was patience. And in 2014, I did 100 deals, I did 600K in commissions, and I wanted to do a million the next year. So I put together this plan to make a million dollars in 2015, and by March of 2015, I realized that I was only gonna make 600,000 again. So I became deeply depressed. I, my curiosity kicked in, I started reading books, I started watching videos, I started doing my research to try to figure out what is wrong with me. I even hired a coach for four months. And what I found out after all that research and all that, that window of, of time in my life was that I had everything. 600K is a great living. There's nothing to be disappointed about or depressed about. What I was missing was the patience. I was doing all I could do. And, and the problem was I was married to the results. And when you're so focused on the results and nothing matters but the results at whatever the end of the year is or the month or the week or whatever, that's when you start losing. Do not be married to the results. Do not focus on the results. Focus only on your daily actions. I'm selling 100 properties a year for the last five years straight. If I only sell 50 properties in 2019, I'm okay with that. 
because I know that my daily actions are in line. I'm giving it all I have. I'm talking to as many people. I'm trying to help as many people as I can possibly help. So the results don't matter to me anymore. I'm more concerned with the fact that I'm putting everything I got, I'm leaving it all on the field every single day, and that's what makes me happy. That's what keeps me from getting depressed. That's what keeps me in a very good spirits. That's what keeps my energy up. And that's what gets me up in the morning. Okay, my goal is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. That makes me hop up out of bed at 4.30 in the morning and start putting an email together to send out to all my coaching clients. So at the end of the day, it's your daily actions and how much effort you're putting in on that daily basis is all that matters, okay? And you're gonna get where you wanna be. You might not do it that year, you might not do it the next year, you may do it quicker than you think you'll do it. it it's all about how much effort you're putting in. So I finally did hit that million in 2017, okay? Two years after the year that I wanted to, but I understood that there was that gray area between being super motivated and happy at the same time and that's called patience. So I hope this video helps you understand my four rules of success. You gotta believe, you gotta work hard, you have to adapt along the way, and then after you put those three pillars in place, it's time to put the work in and be patient. I love you guys so much. If there's anything in the world I could do for you, please reach out, click subscribe and hit the bell. Tons more videos to come in the future. I'll talk to you soon.